Hi friends don't forget to hit the bell icon and subscribe to our channel to get all the updates how to use process improvement methodologies and solve practical business problems before we go ahead today have you have you come across a similar situation right suppose you have been assigned uh, a project or you are working in a project since we are talking about the yellow belt uh, level so uh, let's say you are you don't have to execute the project but you are a team member in the project so the project currently you have been assigned it customers are not happy with the current uh, financial process or the statements information all those processes and your task is to conduct a root cause analysis and share what areas you have to start working on or the improvement points right based on the input shared you plan to conduct a primary survey and secondary survey of customers right and uh, so this is this is activity network diagram we will talk about later so whenever you have come across a similar situation have you experienced this you have missed have you missed the timelines for the surveys there is a delay in start for some activities have you ever missed few key tasks in between right and required approvals are not taken from uh, authorities uh, in time uh the communication is pending uh, required information not captured when it is supposed to be captured and like this there are so many if you talk about a project of even 10 15 days a activity of 10 15 days there can be at least 100 points which uh, ideally you would uh, have uh, done it in a better way right so all those all those things if you try to use activity network di- diagram it will solve all your problems like this right So let's start for today. Hey well welcome again friends and we are here uh, we are in the project planning tools uh, I am going to take you through on activity network diagram right so it it's simple it's a simple diagram which actually shows how tasks are performed sequentially in a project uh, it can show your potential sched- scheduling of the project uh, the resource requirement what you need right uh, re- uh, then your com- complements the brainstorming session ideally this has to be done along with a brainstorming session and it is always good to start with activity network diagram even before you get into a gantt chart right gantt chart we will again see later but in case you already know about gantt chart it's always advisable to go through a activity network d- diagram in a brainstorming session and then get into a gra- gantt chart right so let's let's take a simple same case so you are a uh, yellow belt and have recently been assigned to a customer experience improvement project uh, the problem statement is that customers are not happy with the current financial process uh, and your task is to conduct the rca root cause analysis right based on the input shared Uh, you plan to conduct a primary survey and a secondary uh, survey of customers you plan to use the activity network diagram this time unless uh, uh, unlike the earlier time where uh, you would have gone ahead with a normal way of working let's you try to use the activity network diagram right so uh, so it's as i told you uh it's always good to start with a brainstorming session so you have your team in place and you know so let's let's so ideally this is done in a uh, whiteboard with sticky notes so since i can't show you with sticky sticky notes here i'm just writing here so uh that you are able to uh, understand it right so suppose this is uh, this is the project uh, customer experience i am calling it ce and uh, the project has uh, let's say uh, two parts one is primary survey and another one is a secondary survey right so for the simplicity let's let me take you through the uh, uh, primary survey only right so let's keep it here 
So for primary survey, first thing we have to find out is what are the uh, what are the broad level areas you have to work on. Uh, for example, you need some uh, approvals for administrative usage. Some approvals you need to talk to customers, or you need you have to use some stool, tools, right? Uh, to conduct the survey, since primary survey, I am saying this is one to one. one to one right and this is secondary survey means I am relying on data. So for one to one survey I need some infrastructure whatever whatever it is uh, you can list it out later uh, what else I need I need uh, uh, some data right data of customers right uh, where do they live what is their contact numbers data or informations then what else I need uh, I might okay target audience right I have to understand the target audience right so I have to understand and similarly you can add so many I am just for the sake of simplicity I am just adding three four areas here so you can add so many now within this what you have to do after this so once you have approvals in place and all these things what you have to do you have to uh, say you have to develop a question here right you have to develop a question here uh, and uh, and along with the question here uh, so you might have also to do a brainstorming right you might have to do a brainstorming uh, your target audience right uh, from the target audience you will get to know what communications you have to follow communications right you want to send them mails you want to invite them what you want to do right there's something you have to do and uh, then finally uh, you conduct the survey and while you are conducting the survey uh, you will capture so many informations once you capture all this information uh, uh, you analyze all this informations right so uh, once you capture all this you analyze right? and uh, finally uh, broadly that's it right so if you say from here we can straight away come to here where we are conducting this thing right and then from communication here for anything else again here and then you are ending it right so this is broadly how your uh, activity network diagram would look like right now how do you how would you understand this right so suppose I am just minimizing it so that I can write something here. How would you understand this? Now if you see here, this is the level 1, let us call it L1 activities, right? This is the L2 activities, this is the L3 activities and this is the L4 activities. For all these things, there is a timeline. Let us take approvals will take you 5 days infrastructure two days this is two days some some time you'll need right target audience to understand one day to develop the questionnaire get a sign off from everyone maybe four five days you never know brainstorming might take one day only communication might take four days uh, to capture all these things it might take one day to analyze it might take two days right and and right so so this is these are the activity levels and what you need within all these things right that's what that's what we uh, uh, activity network diagram helps you to understand now this is in a whiteboard i am doing it in a whiteboard just assume uh, we are in a uh, meeting room and we are doing it over a uh, sticky notes on a white uh, board and 
structure wise you can do it this way this is a i am using yed graph editor this is a open source free software you can use it so i have put the number of days required here then i have colored it so that right so you can understand it which level we are going to when how many days it will take me which steps is after which step all those things right at a broad level and now if you see so this is what uh, i have and uh, then we also know here what are the resources uh, required here broadly and this is how l1 l2 l3 this level so my key focus in level 2 in the from this date to this date would be i'll only focus on what i have to do secondary survey and primary survey coming to level 3 i'll only focus on administrative processes so to do this things only right so it focuses your activities uh, it's a sort of it gives you the objectives of the whole project right you you are dividing it a 15 days 20 days job into six different levels and then you are focused on each level to get the outcome right so so that's how it uh, helps you i i hope uh, you understood it in case any doubts anything please do uh, share in the co comment section and uh, thanks a lot uh, till next time next time we'll again see uh, another tool which is affinity diagrams